Hey guys, just want to do a behind the scenes video of our setup here. We're, um, we're trialling uh, out the Blackmagic Ursa Minis and the Ursa Mini Pros. Um, all looking really good. So we've got one here in studio mode. So we've got the studio viewfinder, which is actually really nice, really nice and crisp. Uh, running dual SDI in and out. So we're getting output HD from um, the camera. And return in, which also runs tally, talkback, RS control. Uh, on the front, we've got a B4 mount. Uh, running a Canon 22x zoom, so it's actually looking really good. We've got it in crop mode, so we're only uh, doing a HD, HD um, switch. But yeah, just wanted to do a quick look around. We'll come around the front so you can see viewfinder setup. Um, we've got tallies green, yellow, and red, which is great. But yeah, really nice viewfinder for for working away. So we, um, we're running three Ursa Mini 4.6Ks, sorry, two Ursa Mini 4.6Ks, there's one of them here, just with the Canon 24-70 uh, on the front. So this is running full frame mode, which is looking really crisp. Um, but yeah, we're getting full uh, CCU control from upstairs. Um, the other thing I'm really impressed with actually is the, uh, the talkback. So just using standard iPod headphones uh, with the microphone, you can double press to talk, talk to the cameras or the director, uh, and single press to stop. And yeah, just how it's all built into the switcher. We're using a Blackmagic 2ME broadcast studio, which has the talkback function built into it. So literally just plugged a, a line level microphone into the input, speaker on the output. It's been working great. Uh, we've got, uh, just because of availability, We've got a SM Mini 4K on the on the jib. Um, we're actually not doing too bad. It is a lot darker, but it's actually been pretty good. So uh, and on stage we've got a handheld with um, the shoulder rig and viewfinder with a 7200, um, getting some handheld shots. But uh, we'll head upstairs and check out the control room and control. Hey guys, so this is our control room here at um, Day Spring Church in Castle Hill, in Sydney, Australia. Um, apologies for the mess, we're in mid-conference mode so the thing's going everywhere, so basically we've got a patch bay with SDI lines running uh, throughout the building, super handy. Um, we're running a 40 by 40 um, smart video hub and two of me broadcast studio in 4K, um, two um, hyperdex and a image pro just for some conversion, so that's our back end. Um, and in the control area, we're running, so we've got the single, single ME panel um, for switching. And we've got two 55 inch Sony 4K monitors. So we're actually running our multi-views in 4K, which means that we get preview program of full HD and we get SD um, individual cameras. So it's super crisp and you can see everything, which is awesome. Um, in CCU land, we have just, just acquired one of the um, micro panels, so we can actually do live grading of the camera uh, through the CCU protocol. So um, through the through the software, so this is USB into the software. We can change our colours live as we're going. It's also our our blacks and our yeah everything you get in Resolve, which has been really nice. So we can get our cameras really really well matched. So that's been super handy. Um, we've also done a custom custom job here with uh, Iris. So this is the off the shelf um, Korg Nano Control um, designed for musicians. So it's just a MIDI out. So we'll actually run that into some Arduino boards. Um, so basically converting the, the MIDI signal from USB and outputting U uh, Ethernet straight to the switcher. So we're still in prototype phase, so it's still in board form at the moment, but it's been working really great because it's talking straight to the, straight to the um, switcher, no computers involved. So essentially it means that we get full RS control using really cheap parts. So with 150 bucks worth of parts, we get RS control of up to as many cameras as you can fit onto a, onto a board. So, and we can go through each of our cameras and have a look using one of the oxes. 
and all controlled by the, the panel as well as being able to control it from down here as well. So it's been super handy. We're um, running our web stream through X, XSplit Broadcaster um, and we're streaming via StreamShark, going to our website for our, um, and yeah, with MetaCDN I believe it is. So yeah, streaming live. We've had a few issues with the, the streaming, so we're only doing SDN 720, but we're hoping to get 1080 as well. So, yeah, this is our setup. Um, oh yeah, talkback-wise, we're literally just running, it's very rough at the moment, but microphone into a, into, a, um, into a sound desk just to get to line level. Then we're running straight into the control panel, uh, into the switcher itself, and then running into the, into the uh, speaker so that director can hear the camera ops. Uh, one issue we did fall into, um, and I'm hoping this gets released fixed and firmware, is because all the outputs and inputs are enabled for talkback, if you output from the switcher back into itself, so if you want to get, say, ME1 on one of the inputs, you're actually going to have a feedback loop. So we had to, unfortunately, get a whole bunch of decimated MH, um, what are they called, the NDHXs, um, basically, up, up for um, uh, resolution changing, because we're running in, in native 25p uh, rather than PSF, just because that's the cameras, how the cameras roll. Like, they don't do PSF, um, which is quite annoying, because we, we want the 25p look, but we don't want to go... We didn't want to go 25p, but we had to. So we had to up-convert some of our other cameras to 25p native, but we're also using these to strip the channels 15 and 16 from the lines so that when we go back into it, we're not getting that feedback loop. So, something to keep in mind of, which bugged me at first, but managed to get it working anyway. But yeah, so thanks for checking this out. Hope this is helpful. And um, yeah, all the best. So just in playing, figured out that we can actually control the, um, the camera zoom and focus. So this is the broadcast lens, so I can actually zoom in and out and focus since it's got a, um, a focus motor on it. That's actually kind of cool. So when your operators are being pretty average, you can knock them into line again, so. <laughs> Fun little fact. Yeah, I like it one.